learn from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. Hello, hello, hello. It's the creatures playing The Witcher 3, because why not? It's a super fun game. We need to retrieve the equipment from the Chamberlain. And with that being said, we're just going to play through the game, not get distracted, side quests, picking up any type of flowers or anything like that until we need it. When a pop-up, dialogue pop-up pops up, we end up doing a... The first one on yellow, when it comes to dialogue, we don't decide. We just click the first one, kind of see where the story takes us. And then on top of that, what we end up doing is we're going to uh, have the white ones, like a shopkeeper or something, and we'll just go through and check each dialogue there. And yeah, we're just trying to play through it. Why not? Finish The Witcher 3 on Netflix. Disappointed Henry's not involved, so... I figure this would make me happy. Let's go. I remember the keys. I sure do. Oh, they want me to talk to him. Ambassador Varatra. Forgot Jennifer. Jennifer wanted me to. I ask you about current events, the war, and so on. Of course, the Emperor's servants should keep no secrets from each other. If you will, let us approach the map. So like here, they're white, so we kind of go through them. How's the war going? I mean, apart from the fact that Nilfgaard's triumph is imminent. I assume this to be a private conversation. We've no witnesses, so let's dispense with the propaganda, even that shrouded in irony. Our offensive was going splendidly until winter came. Edern was in such disarray that we encountered no resistance. We had reached the Pontar before the first snows. Only a weakened Kedwin remained, and Radovid's Redania, which had ignored the rest of the North's pleas for help. We thought they'd sue for peace, perhaps even submit to vassalization. We waited for spring, certain of victory. Radovid? Submit? Yes, a vain hope, I agree. Radovid sent no peace envoys, nor did he advance on our positions. Instead, he trudged over the snow-bound Kestrel Mountains and attacked Kedwin, his ally. This attack took the Kedweni by surprise. They were still mourning the loss of their king. Rudderless and dejected, they laid down their arms after a few lost skirmishes and joined Radovid. And so by spring, instead of two weak enemies, we had only one powerful one. So then here's the yellow one. We just click on the first one. That admiration I hear in your voice? Radovid is our foe, but I cannot deny he is clever. He played us for fools, particularly dense ones at that. Returning to the war, this spring there was a massive battle in the marshes of Velen. Massive, yet indecisive. Both sides suffered enormous losses, unprecedented even. Radovid has retreated across the Pontar. He's safe for now, until reinforcements arrive from the south. Then Emperor Emir Var Emrys will deal with him once and for all. Couldn't you just go home? Save everyone a lot of marching, not to mention a few human lives. I'm afraid the stakes are too high to fold now. We can only go all in. Hmm. <sighs> How do things look in Velen? As bad as ever. Perhaps worse. This land never flowed with milk and honey, and now it flows with blood. Armies have swept through it several times, trampling fields, looting granaries, burning villages. Famine grips the populace. Mm -hmm. So how's ruling that earthly paradise going for you? Not well, to be honest. Our forces are spread thin as it is, and Velen is chiefly swampy forests that are difficult to control. We've had several patrols never return to their camps. Thus, we've temporarily delegated authority in this region to a certain Nordling, 
a former low-ranking officer in the Temerian army, one Philip Strenger, better known by his nom de guerre, the Bloody Baron. I advise you well, avoid him. Any news from Novigrad? Is the free city still free? Yes, although everyone knows this won't last. Radovid is in Oxenford, and the Emperor is here, in Vizima, at Novigrad's doorstep, both. And both require coin and ships, and Novigrad can provide these. Which is why the mood in the city is rather, well, on edge. Meaning? How do men deal with fear? They seek reassurance and scapegoats. The Church of the Eternal Fire understands this perfectly, and so it promises to improve the lives of its flock by pointing out the guilty. Who started the war? Who profits from it? Why, it's obvious. Mages, elves, dwarves, in a word, any and all deviants. I've been stationed in Novigrad for 13 years. First as a consul, then as ambassador. I've seen a great deal. Cruelty, cynicism, greed. But what is happening there now concerns me greatly. All right, this is intriguing. I like it. What's new in Skellige? Nothing. The islanders pride themselves on that, don't they? Doing everything according to tradition, as their forefathers did. And like their forefathers, they quarrel with each other. Pillage. Occasionally attack our transports. This is cumbersome, but nothing more. Skelliger has always been a footnote to history, and so it shall remain. Sound awfully confident. What if King Bran manages to unite the Jarls? Lead all the clans against your fleet? King Bran is a feeble old man. From what I know, he barely remembers the names of his own vassals. Uniting all might prove difficult. Thanks for your help. Think nothing of it. May the great sun light your path. Okay, that was nice of him. Ooh. And then I pushed him out of the way because I didn't like him. No. I pushed him out of the way because the game put me next to him. How might I serve the gentleman? By returning my things. Citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Mm. Thanks, Bunches. The Emperor is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound, as soon as possible. Yeah, mention something of the sort. So long. All right. The Emperor shall guide us straight to Now we're going to leave. Well, it's really dark. Okay, I'm glad it got lighter. Main quest, that's all we're doing. To switch. Okay, view. Press Y. Oh. To return to the map of the region you are in. Currently located, press Y. Open the map of a given region. Move over the cursor. Nice. Okay, so we want to go here. And how do we, we zoom out this way? A lot of little side quests and stuff we are going to avoid. And we are going to fast travel here. Geralt and Yennefer were reunited. But something even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar. And she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. Kind of like how they tell you the stories in between. It's a bummer when sometimes it ends. Like, 
Indie Mania stops talking. Five days later. Hearts of Stone, thank you for purchasing the Hearts of Stone expansion. Your currently tracked quest has been changed to the first quest of Hearts of Stone. Yet we only recommend starting it if your character level is at level 30. Have fun. While playing the Hearts of Stone expansion, you can encounter a rune right marked on the marked by the icon on your map. The newer craftsman, the only of his the new craftsman, the only of his kind, yeah, it does say the only of his kind, comes from a far off land and can be his arcane knowledge to considerable improve your equipment. Seek him out and see for yourself. Welcome to Blood and Wine expansion. This is the mode. In this mode, all the quests of the main storyline are still available to you. To begin playing Request from Blood and Wine, you must first complete a Poet Under Pressure quest. Cool. Alright, so... We want to go to quests, and we want to go to... Main quest. Hearts of Stone... Multiple locations, go to the end, visit, all right, so these are all main quests. Let's visit this one. World map. Scroll out. Get stuck on a boat. Store items here for safekeeping. Now let's ride up. Looks like to the north. Come on, Roach. Wonder why it's having us cr cross land. Uh, probably to a certain part of the land we can cross. Okay. Makes sense. I forgot how to change roads really quick on you. You gotta watch it. Whoa! 
Not so fast, Roach. Get stuck on things. Hey, uh. Can't swim with the horse. Really choppy. Bandits. You know what I haven't looked at? Options. I can play video. Motion blur off. On. Doesn't let me change it. Oh. Graphics, full screen. I know everything's going to be nice. Move until the image is barely visible. Yeah, that's what I thought. We'll move it up. Oh, you can. You can definitely see it in um. The stream, the stream. I forgot the buttons already. That's it, Roach. Looks like we have to go up this way. Roach, will you do me a favor? Will you run into every tree possible? Give me a run across the lands, okay. Hey, you do want me to go this way. First time I played it, I gathered everything. I saw every little flower. I was picking it all up. Not this time. Witch hunter who 
chase his old crumbs. All right, now we can fast travel through there. Smuggler's cash. Come on. Why are you running into the wall? All right, we're get, we're gonna we're gonna get off of you. Wait, boring and then I was confused by that. You said greetings and then boring. That's all right. Man, I couldn't imagine running riding my horse to this. Uh oh, what are we coming across? No evil can survive the holy fire. The holy fire enlightens, burns. And cleanses. Behold the flame of grace and mercy. Special pyre for you, freak. Nice, slow burning. You'll beg for mercy in all the voices known to you by the others of your speech. None. I wanted only to live like you. Help me, kind folk. Please. <laughs> Okay. Ruben takes a cut. Cleaver takes a cut. How's a man to turn a pocket? Sorceress. It's like a witch with muscle. Hey! Sod off! We're looting here! Want you gone by the time I count to three. One. Hear that? Two. Ooh, look he! Thinks he can scare us off. Three. You smell of dead meat, asshole. Me! Leave it to me! I died. I wasn't watching my level. What was I thinking? Silly me. I don't watch those. And I thought I was going to fight with swords. I should uh, assume. I gotta remember what, uh, tuck. Tuck and roll. Our Novigrad. Shining a brilliant pearl among cities. Cradle. Sure hope Dudu hasn't met the same thing. We, we don't need to see that. Okay, we're gonna come in here. Okay, so sprint. Hey, sod off. 
We're looting here. Want you gone by the time I count to three. One, two, Ooh. three. Leave him to me. Son of a whore. Come over here, guys. I want to take you on it. Come on, come closer. Okay, so I can use that power. Ring around the rosy. Okay, so these are my magic. Okay, this one is magic trap, protective shield, damage, a blast. We'll do that one. for everyone I'm not a thief looking for the sorceress who lived here most likely I did in some rat trap with the rest of them someone's got to know more I'd look for her in a putrid grove putrid grove where is it I wouldn't know rumor has it it's a place for freaks and oddities you'd fit in well there Maybe. Thing is, gotta know how to get there. They say you gotta get there through the sewers, but you gotta enter them outside of town. Few know where exactly, though. Ask a beggar. Or spot yourself a thief. Follow him. Beggars and thieves gotta pay tribute to the king of beggars. Word is, they do it in the grove. Mean to say the local beggars have a king? Crown, scepter, and all that? Wouldn't scoff, mate. King of beggars, it's a moniker. Yeah, for a man who everyone in Novigrad respects deeply. And watch yourself. Menger himself don't even go to the Grove. Someone call for me. Wonder why. It's Menger. Temple God! Thieving vermin to the confession chamber. What, but sir, what's the offence? This is some sorcerous bitchy shop. Think that gives you the right to steal her property? Well, sorcerers, majors of all types, are outlaws. But by law, the temple guard takes possession of their belongings. And the rule of law still holds in Novigrad. You know a bat can sniff out a moth a mile away. Small animals. Can't say I'm really interested. I know your trade. Spotted those yellow eyes amidst the rabble in the square right away. Did you notice how much common folk love flames? The eternal fire will consume them all one day, one way or another. And as bats sense moths, so I sense freaks. And start by warning them, Novigrad's no place for your kind. I haven't done anything wrong. 
But you will. Sooner or later, your sort always causes trouble. And this city's mine to protect. Mine. And the Eternal Fires. Nothing I can do to you now. But just know that I know you're here. One misstep, one error. You'll make a mistake, it's inevitable. I'll be the first to learn of it. And when I do, it'll be standard procedure. Like for every magic oddity who dares taint this city's air. Be seeing you. All right. I was like, should I loot? Herbs, roots, just turn to healing. Hairbrush. Only ever known Triss to use one like this. Okay. Isn't back there just carpets? Need some fruits. So you keep getting my butt kicked outside. Go upstairs. Amulets are emanating magic. Gotta be Triss's. She was allergic to potions. Mm hmm, using my Witcher stents. Big house. Plane. Trisses. Never knew how to drop them on the floor. The rose of remembrance. All dried up. Big old house. I didn't miss anything, did I? Why would I be looking for thieves on the main square? Carefully follow them. That part of the main story, did I miss that? There's the door. Oh, that was a lot of stuff. All right, let's go west. All right, so let's see. We, okay. Some quests might be too difficult for you at the moment. Okay. This one would be, tell me a story of, which began at the seven cats in notice board. Multiple. Siri, we don't, we're not, we're looking for Siri, but. I 
up now here. Oh, deepest apologies, Governor. Fetch some metal, you wretch. I've been robbed! Thief! What's he doing here? Ain't that the kingfisher? You're sorted for at least two days. <laughs>